What up, what up, what up, everybody? It's your main man, Shannon. Welcome to the Car Chronicles from the car. Shannon Jr. and I, we were out today at a basketball game. Uh, far out, probably about 60-something miles from my house. And on the way back, we stopped to get uh, raw for the dog at, at, at Jim's Fallbrook Market, a place we go to in Woodland Hills all the time. Shout out to them. They do a great job. And we're standing in line, and this older white gentleman came up to me, and he says, how you doing today? I said, hey, how you doing? He said, Arizona State University, that's in Tempe, right? I said, yes, sir. And we're talking. And he looked at me and he says, you know what? I'm 100 now. 100? The guy turned 100 in September. I was like, you're 100? He said, yeah, I turned 100 in September. I said, you by yourself? Because I didn't see nobody with the gentleman. He had a walker motoring through the, through the place. And I was like, hmm. He was like, yeah, I still drive myself around. He's like, I lived in this neighborhood forever. He said, some people don't like me driving, but he said, it's what keeps me young. He said, because when you take that, I got to depend on people and what I got left. Whoa. Bible says this. Bible says, God says, I'll guarantee you 80 or 70 years. And if by reason of strength, 80. This dude said he was 100. I said, you think you can get to 120? He was like, eh, who knows? He was like, I really don't care at this point. I just keep living. He said he just keep living every day. He just keeps living I've been taking a, uh, I've been in a, a leadership training for the last few months since last year in August. Talked clearly about living into the, your past, living into your future. It's the most heartbreaking thing ever when we are handcuffed by the mistakes of our past. And that allow, uh, disallows us to enjoy the fruits of our future. I made that part up, but it, it does. It's a, it's a tough one. But to hear this guy talk about living every day, y'all. I got worries all the time. I'm worried about all kinds of stuff. I'm worried about businesses and helping hands, giving hope and my old dad and my wife's parents and this person and that person and Shannon Jr. going to high school. I wake up in the middle of the night trying to figure stuff out. Bible says in Psalm 127, it says, um, unless the Lord builds a house, he labor in vain who builds it. It says, unless the watchman uh, the Lord uh, guards the city. The watchman stays awake in vain because it's vanity to get up, uh, go to sleep late and wake up early for he gives his beloved sleep. It was a lot packed in this short conversation I had with this guy today being a hundred. Unreal, unreal, guys. My message to you in this card chronicle, if you've ever heard anything I've said to you, I would say this. God is God. He, do, he does what he says he's going to do when he wants to do it, and he doesn't need our help. All we have to be is be faithful, be faith-filled, and be aligned with his words, statutes, and the laws that he's told us to. That's it. We do our part, God does his part. My part is this, to say I love you, God loves you. Keep living in victory. Have a good night.